then we'll go to our VC and then you can do the crazy thing. Hello and welcome to the Build Up Show here on Hibs TV, coming to you from Pitchside at Easter Road. There was no SPFL action last weekend, but Lee Johnson's side are back to business today as they take on Aberdeen, looking to build on that unbeaten home start to the season and, of course, the 1-0 win against Kilmarnock. Now, it feels like a little bit of time since we last saw the Hybees in action, so let's check out the goals from this season. Yes, and we're all hoping for more moments like that this afternoon as Hibs welcome high flying Aberdeen to Easter Road with kickoff at 3 pm. But as we can see from the league table, this is going to be far from straightforward with Jim Goodwin's side, currently sitting third on 10 points with three wins and a draw from their opening six fixtures. Hibs currently in eighth place, but at this early stage of the season, it's all very tight and congested. And indeed, a win today for Hibs would see us leapfrog Aberdeen in the table. So there is a lot to play for. Today, I am delighted to be joined by Hibernian FC goalkeeper Kevin Dubrovsky. Kevin, how are you? Hello, guys. Yeah, that's fine. Feel much better. 
Qatar recently, so yeah, looking forward to it. Fantastic. And I wanted to start by talking about Lee Johnson. Um, obviously, he missed the last outing against Kilmarnock, but he's been back at, at HTC this week. What was that like when he when he wasn't around Easter Road and wasn't around the training ground? Well, it, it was quite unusual for us, but the most important, we've been surrounded with the other staff and coaches like Mark and Adam. So they, they did really well. The, the way they put every every single every single session in a professional way that really helped us and we're really glad that the gaffer especially he he managed to recover very quickly and he missed only one one game it shows you how commitment he, he is uh, how badly he wanted to to get back to us it shows how important doesn't it that his coaching staff are and the ability that they've got as well because it seemed fairly seamless didn't it uh, definitely uh, it shows you the last game we won one nil three points kept the clean sheet especially for for us for for the players we wanted to to win this game for for the gaffer but that's why it was kept us even more more motivated and the way the the staff and the coaches handled it was just perfect for us yeah what's it been like with him being back this week oh it's it's, it's, it's been fantastic you could you could see he's he's almost fully fit he's been smiling so yeah he's he's looking well for a, for a, for a person who just had a surgery so yeah the way he recovers it's just great yeah absolutely and, and talking about being out obviously yourself you've been out injured at, at the moment how, how are you feeling well at the beginning when my injury happened it seemed quite quite badly especially when I got this knock and I went to for assessment to check all the physios and they, they the way they look at me they, they knew it's something wrong and it could be quite bad they even thought about that I need a surgery but unfortunately, uh, but luckily, after the X-ray and all the scans I had, I found out that there is no need for a surgery. And after when I rested for like two two weeks, doing absolutely nothing, the shoulder recovery quickly. And when I started doing my rehab, I built up my my shoulder, and I should be back in about like three three weeks. And as you see, I've got full range now, so <laughs> I'm ready to to finally catch and save the ball. Fantastic. It's, that's really good to hear because I can imagine for you, um, you've been able to learn a lot, obviously, from, from David Marshall coming in and again from having that game time earlier on in the season. Oh, definitely. It's so, so good to, to have Marsh in, in this club, especially he's such a great, great, great person. And as, as a great personality he's got, he's such a great goalkeeper as well. So right now I'm really happy to have someone to look up, especially the, the career he had. And right now to to ask him for some for some tips and watching him playing i feel like i already improved in terms of every aspect as a goalkeeper so yeah i'm even even more confident and, and ready to to step on and, and play for one day in, in the game if there is a need for yeah and there's extra competition in in that goalkeeping department now as well obviously because of your injury ryan Schofield came in on loan from from huddersfield town what what have you what have you made of him and, and how's he been fitting him well, Ryan, straight away after I met him, he's such a, such a lovely guy, such a likable. He's just such a nice person. So it it went so much easy because the way, the way he he was so good to me when he introduced himself. So yeah, after the first first day, we just go on really well with each other. So I'm really looking forward to to start training with him because obviously, yeah, right now I'm just still, still doing my rehab at the gym. So yeah, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to start training with him and with the, with the boys as well. Yeah, and we all can't wait to see you back. And talking about people being back, Lee Johnson will be back in the technical area this afternoon. Obviously, he was unavailable for the game against Kilmarnock. Turned out a 1-0 win. Let's check out those, those highlights. <laughs> gets into you and the shadows of your heart there'll be better days when my love will find you even though we're miles apart like an airplane as the world fades out and there's a new world yet to come and all your pain will release at night into the arms of the chosen one if you're lost, I'll find you there With the sunlight in your hair And the sadness washed away by the rain Open up your 
your eyes cause you're reeling Baby try to remember it's just the feeling And there'll be better ways that begin to echo through the wasteland of your mind Through the Milky Way Oh my love will hold you Hope it gets you through the night Don't believe the lies underneath the darkened skies stand up I'll meet you there in the Kevin, that was a game that we always looked in control of, wasn't it? Winning breeds confidence, doesn't it? Definitely, yeah, that's all about. To always have this control, especially in an entire game. And at the end, if you, if you control and you dominate, you win the game. Simple as that. How important was the three points in that game? Very massive, especially, you know, when we play at home. Our fans and our standard, we always said for each other, we always expect... To, to get those three points. No, no matter we, what, which team we play, from the bottom to the top, we always want to, we always want to win. And we're very, very happy and glad that we did it. And hopefully we will do it again. Today. Yeah, and the table is in incredibly tight. We're only six games in, of course, but with a, a new manager, an influx of, of new players, how do you assess the start of the season? Well, for as, as, as you see, it's really tight. So all the, all the teams are really at it they want to they go ready like every single team go really ready and want want to to win as many games as possible so that shows you that in this league everyone sits so tight that's why winning the last game was really important and crucial for us to to you see like if we win this one we go so much higher in the in the league so that's the, the most important right now to just get those those three points because the more we get them the further we were we will go and we this this tight between us will be would be further. Yeah, and you've had a few managers since or during your time at, at Hibernian FC. Talk to us about Lee Johnson and, and what he demands differently from from his goalkeepers. Well, first of all, he he always wants to to have a brave goalkeeper, like a super keeper. Uh, for example, Manuel Neuer, who is the best at it. So for me, that was quite quite good to hear because he's one of my favourites, always to look up. So he always wants us to, to be on our toes, be high and be ready to, for example, to come out from the box, clear the, the pass, because we, we, we are as important as the other players to, to play out, use our feet. And sometimes we just have to wait if our defender receives the ball and be ready and be as like a playmaker as well at, at the end. And that's really important because we can as well manage and change the rhythm and direction of, of the game. Yeah, and you, you obviously mentioned a win today would propel us up the table. We'd overtake Aberdeen. What do you expect from the game today and what do you think Hibs have to do to, to get the three points? Well, for, first of all, we have to set the high tempo from the first minute, the high pressing. That would be very crucial for, for us as Aberdeen is, a, is an organised team. So we need to be at it from the first minute to the, to the last one. We need to be really organized and be in the right position and just work hard and try to win every single ball. And I'm sure if we're going to do it, the rest will come because we've got massive quality in the in the team and we just win this desire, the big heart to, to fight for, for our club. Absolutely. The, the fight will be really important. Well, it's time for us to take a break now, but please stay with us because we've got a special interview for you from our new signing, Mikola Kurahevic. I think I got that right, Kevin? Almost perfect, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you get better. <laughs> Absolutely. So we'll see you after the break.
Simplexity Travel is made up of some of London's leading bespoke travel managers. Simplexity specialise in luxury travel services for corporate and private clients, groups and individuals who lead busy lives. Simplexity will simplify challenging schedules and complex trip itineraries, ensuring our clients always travel with complete peace of mind and a perfect luxury. Simplexity Travel, making luxury travel simple. Welcome back to Hibs TV and our build-up show. One thing that no football allowed us to do was to reintroduce, or introduce, I should say, one of our new signings to the squad, Ukrainian under-21 international Mykola Kuharevich, as Kevin perfectly pronounced earlier on today. He's been settling in here in Leith, and earlier this week I caught up to him just to see how he was been getting on around the lads at HTC. Miko, welcome to Hibernian FC. Firstly, just tell us how you pronounce your name. Uh, I'm Mikola Kucharevich. Perfect. Um, how happy are you to, to be here? Yeah, I'm happy now. Uh, everything is good here. Uh, training base looking good. And uh, also I feel a great atmosphere in team. You joined us on transfer deadline day. What have you been doing to keep fit before you could join up with your teammates? Uh, since then, I continue training uh, in Belgium, but uh, with youth team. And I think I have a good form now. You've been here for two days now. How have you found it? Yeah, I think uh, I enjoy the training. I already got to know everyone, talked uh, to everyone. And I want to try to uh, say again, I feel a good atmosphere in the team. For fans that don't know you, tell us about your game style. Uh, to be honest, I don't like uh, talk about myself. Uh, I just to be, want to be uh, useful for the team and uh, help the uh, team to get three points in every game. How much are you looking forward to the challenge of Scottish football? Yeah, I think it's a good competition. I heard uh, everybody need to fight for the team, uh, give everything on the pitch. But it's a good challenge for me. I want to try and do this. Your first game could be on Saturday. How much are you looking forward to being out on the pitch at Easter Road? Yeah, I'm very looking forward uh, to this uh, game. I heard already about our wonderful fans and uh, I will do everything for our win. Kev, we heard from Mikola just then. You came to Easter Road with him today. What's been your first impressions of him so far? Oh, obviously, he's such a such a good guy because he's especially not a stranger for me. He's from Ukraine, so you know, basically, he's my neighbor. So there's lots of similar similarities be, between us. So I'm really happy to to have him. Especially the, the language is very, very similar. So sometimes if he, he doesn't know or understand in the English language, he can just tell in Ukraine and without any any problem, I will understand that I could translate him. So yeah, it's it's good to have him and it's good for him that he can have him. So it will be much easier for him to settle because I wasn't, I wasn't as lucky as him when I came six years ago to Scotland. There was nobody from Poland, Ukraine. I had to do everything by myself. So I'm very really happy that I could slightly help him about everything to show him around the city. So yeah, I told him, you're in a perfect place. You're a lucky man. You will enjoy it. Yeah, you're the perfect person to, to help him with that. And on the football pitch as well, he's something a little bit different, isn't he? A six foot four striker, a, a mould that, that we didn't have in the building before. Oh, definitely. As you can see, he's a big lad and that's all we need, especially now having... Having like, for example, players like uh, Marian Chabaya, who can deliver, who can cross to really well. Now having someone in the in the middle of the box with such a such a good presence, increase our chances to to score a goal, and I think that will be very crucial and important for us. Yeah, absolutely. And and going forwards, it's more firepower for us as well, isn't it? Obviously, Martin Boyle came in over the summer. Harry McCurdy, who is suspended today, but he also came in. Eli Yuan, Mikola, Mamadou Bojang. There's lots of exciting 
players there that, that can create something or make something happen in that final third? Definitely, there's such a big quality for us and the variety. We've got like so many players with good quality and from different league, which can bring something new to to our style and and to to our to our game. So yeah, it's it's very very pleasing for us, and I'm really looking forward to it. And as you see, finally the the boys start getting to know each other, especially Ellie with Martin Boyle. They they start understanding each other. They don't even have to speak to each other. They just know where to play. And as it shows, not even once, just many times that it's it's working and it's just getting better and better. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, and for you, obviously, at the other end, once you're back fit, I guess it's a case of, of trying to wrestle that number one shirt off David Marshall. Definitely, it's, it pushes me even more. You know, I had quite a bit of time to, to think about it, being injured, so I think that was maybe a good thing. Some, for me, I was always something happened with a reason, so I've been thinking about it, what I should do more and stuff like this. So, yeah, right now I'm even more hungry to work hard and push and go for it. And just before we wrap up the show, Kev, you'll be joining the Hibs TV commentary team later on as well. You'll enjoy that, won't you? Definitely. Well, it's not the first thing, eh? We're already done in Portugal. But to be honest, now it's getting more serious in the league, so I'm very happy. It seems you were happy and pleased with me in Portugal, guys, so thank you for giving me another chance and I hope I will do okay again. I'm sure, I'm sure you will. Uh, thank you very much for watching. You can catch up with Kev and Cliff Pike, our commentary team for this afternoon's game on Hibs TV. If you are an international subscriber or listening to the audio here in the UK, Kev, thank you for joining us and thank you very much for watching at home. Thank you so much, guys.